In Balloon CD battles and just all games in the Balloon CD series, there's just a lot of towers revolved around monkeys. You got towers like the Dart Monkey, the Ninja Monkey, the Wizard Monkey, and so on and so forth. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a challenge where I can't use any towers associated with any monkeys and seeing if we can win in the highest arena. I know that sounds weird because honestly, most people probably think almost every tower in the game is associated with the monkey, but that is far from the truth because we got towers like the Tax Shooter, the Bomb, the Spike Factory, and there's only actually a few more, all right? So I want to begin into those, but before we do that, if you guys are in fact new to the channel or are a recent viewer of mine, please consider clicking that subscribe button because only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed. And remember, subscribing is 100% free and you can always change your mind at the end of the day. So if we go through the list of towers down here, we actually have the Tashter once again, the Bomb once again, the Spike Battery, the Banana Farm, the Village, the Balloon Chipper, and I think that is actually it. So we can only use those towers within the strategy and wanna see if we can win a game or right. We actually have really solid towers, so honestly, I don't think this is going to be too hard. We got the map interchange. I'm gonna end up going this strategy right here. Not smart, but we're gonna make it work. So the reason why I said this is not smart is because we don't have really solid camo defenses, all right? Because obviously the tax shooter cannot detect camo balloons. It is a really solid tower, right? But yeah, just unfortunately cannot do that. But the spike battery, the spike battery can in fact, okay? So I'm gonna be starting off with the tax shooter as my first bomb power tower. And it looks like Joku is his name, all right? I like that name a lot. Sounds like freaking Goku. And that's who I was for Halloween, so. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? But Joku is also starting out with the tax shooter. That's pretty wild. And on top of that, he's going to be sending me eco. Wait, oh my god, why am I sending all this eco? Guys, I honestly thought I was ecoing. I am so used to ecoing. Jeez Louise. Okay, so that's fine. We're going to end up starting off with a farm once we can get that all right. We needed kind of the 2 3 tax shooter because the tax shooter is not really all that good for a map like this because, like, there's not too solid of a spot. It's not like it's terrible, but. I, I wouldn't recommend using the tax shooter on this map, okay? But honestly, the tax shooter is one of the best early game towers in the game. So hopefully we'll do just fine, okay? And by the way, actually, now that I think about it, we probably shouldn't use farmers. Yes, we can't. We literally can't use farmers because that has a monkey on it. It's called the monkey farmer. So we cannot use that tower. We got to manually collect from this banana farm, okay? So that's a little bit unfortunate, all right? But will be just fine. Round six is about to be here as well, right? So I'm gonna end up sending the young man probably some space blacks, okay? Because this should hopefully force an upgrade on his side, all right? Um, if not, he should be taking lives. Okay, he actually tacked that one time already. So yeah, I think it's safe to say he's gonna end up leaking lives here, okay? So I'm gonna try to go uh, for this banana plantation. Okay, there we go for that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so he still has yet actually though to leak alive. There he goes for the ninja as his second popping power tower. Okay, we are in ceramic crucible. So unfortunately, we do have four towers. So he still has two more towers to reveal within his strategy. Okay, but we're making decent pace with our farms. Okay, so cannot be mad about that. And there's nothing really that we can do right now. So for any more upgrades on his side, okay, just would not be worth it. All right, so looks like he's gonna be sending me some space whites. Only one set. So that could have quite possibly been on accident. So I'm not going to upgrade, all right? I think we're absolutely freaking lootly chilling, all right? And I'm going to end up going for the second plantation here, okay? So two plantations before round 10. That's pretty solid. Oh, oh my God. He's going with the freaking village too. Ninja village tack. Oh my, this guy wants to go late. This guy wants to go freaking late game, boys. Holy, all right? So I ended up sending him a lead because currently he has no lead detection, nor do we though. So hopefully he does not realize that. He is also... Going with the bomb, okay, so that's literally his entire freaking strategy, okay, so what should we do about our camel defenses, man? I get, we have to get up a spike battery, okay, so this is, like, super awkward, very, very awkward, okay, so hopefully we'll be fine. I'm gonna send him a camel lead his way, and uh, we're gonna see how he reacts, okay, because currently he cannot pop camel leads. He's gonna be sending me a few camel pinks right there, but we ended up being fine. He needs to upgrade to the radar scanner. 
on that village in order to pop these camel leads. He ends up selling. Oh, okay, he went for the flash bomber instead. I guess that works. Also ended up selling that villager case, so I guess he's gonna end up being fine, although he took a pretty big punch. If you do ask me, he only has the flash bomber. Oh my god, is he gonna straight up die? He could quite possibly just straight up die right here. Oh my goodness. Down to 31 lives. That is very, very unfortunate, right? Obviously, this guy really is struggling out here right now, okay? So, I'm gonna make it even worse by sending him a few sets of regen leads here, okay? And we're gonna see if he's gonna be able to defend against that, all right? Because his flash bomber is actually causing a lot more regrow on his side, but it looks like he ended up going for the cluster bomb, so he might be good, he might not. I don't really know, all right? Round 16 AI is also here. He ends up tower boosting, but still, Ends up going down to right. GG's only. We got kind of lucky because he was not really all that aggressive towards us uh, during this mid-game round. So, right. So, GG's once again. I will catch y'all in the next one. Mike Bacon is going to be our next put on the right. So, I'm going to definitely switch up the strategy each and every game. Um, so, I kind of want to use towers that we have not yet used. All right. Snowy Castle is going to end up being the map. Okay. So, I definitely want to use the bomb. Bombs are a really solid tower. Okay. That's for sure. I guess the village, and then I guess the balloon shipper, right? We have yet to use any of these towers, so there's only six towers in the game, actually, guys, that aren't associated with monkeys. That's like a really low number, in my opinion, okay? But we're gonna rock with this strategy. Let's freaking get it. This actually has a lot of potential now that I think about it, all right? Because the bomb, obviously, is a very, very solid tower. We got the village to enhance our towers as well. Also, to give our towers camera detection, because, dude, if you think about it, without the village, guys, all of these non-monkey towers don't have cam detection. Literally none of them. That's actually crazy when you think about that. I never realized that. Wow. Oh my, I might, like, my mind is blown right now. <laughs> maybe it's because they like literally don't have eyes. I guess maybe that's why. I don't know, all right? But round two is here. Let's get right to starting off with these constant reds. And he's going to have to upgrade to the lightning bolt upgrade on that wizard if he wants to be able to fully defend, okay? Also, too, he's probably going to end up sending me some space pigs on round four. Looks like he is also going to end up using the farm. Solid tower for this map, okay? But since we are ecoing, and since farms are also super limited on this map, he's going to want to make sure that we do not take this game too late because he will not be able to defend because he literally just won't have enough money because there's only three farm spots, actually, all right? So should we go for the cluster bomb? I guess so. I started leaking lives to the AI balloon, so I thought, why not? Uh, so we should be much more fine now. And for whatever reason, he still has yet to send me any space pinks, okay? So I'm definitely not complaining. Not at freaking all. Uh, but dude, oh my god, round six. That's gonna be tough, all right? Because technically, like, our bomb isn't really going to do all that good against black balloons because it really struggles because the frag bombs is, like, the only thing that can technically pop down black balloons. And it's, it's just going to be bad, all right? So what we had to do if that happens is go for Balloon Shipper. No ifs, ands, or buts about that, all right? But still, he, he just refuses to be aggressive, man. Like, you cannot make this up. It would be so effective for him, too, because I would straight up have to full on stop ecoing. I would also tank a ton of lives, possibly have to use a tower boost, okay? So uh, I don't know, man. I don't freaking know, okay? Maybe he just wants to go late game. Who freaking knows, man? All right, but we got 489 eco, so I'm gonna eco just a tad bit harder. 510, I'm gonna stop right here because he could be aggressive here on round eight. That would also be pretty effective. Like, if he sent us space regen blacks, that would be so bad for us, but he just still nothing. But he did go for another farm, okay? So that's something, I guess, all right? But I'm gonna end up, I guess, going for a village. Should we just go for it like in the middle of the map? Uh, or like right here, I guess. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I'm gonna go for the monkey fold upgrade as well. That's going to increase the piercing on our towers. And oh my god, we are struggling. Two of these regen balloons within the AI, right? I just went for a zero zero chipper though. This is gonna give us a little bit more time to pop down all those regen balloons. And yeah, that definitely actually tremendously helped us out. So good thing that we went for that. I don't wanna go for any more upgrades on my popping power towers just yet because we absolutely need the radar scanner upgrade for round 12 if he does send us camo balloons, all right? But I might just get it just to be safe anyway. Uh, but also too, he might all let us here on round 13, okay? So we're, we're gonna wait to see what happens, all right? We're gonna wait to see what happens because we actually have enough money to upgrade to a balloon impact. 
if we need to. It'd be all out sus with a non-camera rush, that is, all right? So let's just see. He went for a balloon jitsu on his side, okay? So nothing, I guess, out of the ordinary so far. So I'm gonna go for the radar scanner upgrader, right? And I'm gonna start to space deco here, all right? So this pretty much means we are ecoing, but we're being safe about it, all right? Because we still have $3,000 saved up in case we need that quick cash to upgrade to more defenses, all right? But he just still refuses to be aggressive. Like, I don't know what this guy is doing, man. Like, <laughs> he's just so nice, I guess. He is so nice. He ended up going for Republic on his side as well, okay? So I guess if we're gonna continue on this game, we need to eco a tad bit harder, all right? So, oh, he's finally sending me balloons. Oh my God. Constant freaking regular leads. Okay, so hopefully we're gonna end up being fine. I'm gonna try to go for this bomb tower. Do we need to end up tower boosting this? I think so. Okay, so actually maybe not. Maybe we didn't, man. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we probably did not. I, I, I panicked, man. I literally panicked. I thought there were much worse balloons like towards the end of the map, but in reality, they were all just like, regular like reds and blues so that kind of sucks to see okay but he's still sending me constant leads here I, I think we're gonna end up being fine though who really knows man okay so i upgraded oh dude maybe we should have went for another cluster bomb oh my dude we're not doing all that well at all what the heck bomb i think my bomb is just not trying hard enough or something all right but i ended up upgrading to the 2-2 two -two balloon shipper he is still <laughs> sending me constant leads bro I'm going to end up putting this bad boy, I guess, on too strong. Because uh, now we got another cluster bomb, okay? And we're going to have to be aggressive towards him, all right? I know this game really does not make any sense because currently we only have 682 Ecos. So that is unbelievably bad. But we don't really have an option anymore. We have got to send him a BFB, I think, here on round 20. He's got the money in order to defend. So that's the issue. That's the really big issue, actually, okay? So... Maybe we could send a mob at first, try to get that first boost out of him. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that, all right? I'm going to do that. Constant leads underneath as well. Uh, he upgrades to the Dragon Breath though, guys, all right? So he might be, in fact, able to defend against this. It looks like he is actually... Oh, he's actually struggling a little bit, all right? So he ended up going for another wizard that looks pretty bad. Yes, we forced the tower boost that we needed, boys. That's really good. That's really, really good. And he actually ended up leaking some lives as well, okay? So... Yeah, I'm not going to hold back here. If he were smart, though, he would counter once I send this BFB, all right? But we're going to be balloon boosting this as well, just to make it even worse, okay? So let's balloon boost that, and let's see if he ends up countering towards me. He ended up going for a Tornado Wizard, and it looks like he is probably trying to go for a Sabo ability, which he definitely can if he ends up selling both of those Republics, all right? He's got the funds in order to defend against this, all right? But looks like he's gonna end up tower boosting once a freaking again, and that might just be able to defend. I don't know, that's gonna be a lot of ceramic players, okay? So it's gonna push through on his side, but that tornado wizard might have just freaking saved him. Maybe, 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 all right? So I guess I'm gonna balloon boost another BFB, okay? Because round 22 ceramics are here now. I think though we're gonna be able to defend. Oh my goodness, bro. Like, what are we supposed to do? Literally, what are we supposed to do? We could send like another BFB if we want to, man, because he might be able to defend against that. I'm going to, I guess. Why not? There is his third and final tower boost, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I might just have to full send it here because he's going to be able to defend against that first BFB, all right? So yeah, we're going to end up doing that, all right? Three mobs, okay? And I don't know. I'm going to send two more on top of that. I have literally no camo defenses currently, but I think that's going to be a little bit too much for him to handle. Hopefully, it's got to be. It's literally got to freaking be. That's going to be a lot of ceramics, and I don't think his current defenses are going to be able to defend. And Mike Bacon, you need to go down for me. And he finally ends up going down. <laughs> that was way more intense than it had to be, bro. Oh my God, because that strategy that we used straight up just was not good all right but still nonetheless a dub is a dub ggs only and i will catch y'all in the next one balloon boosting okay so yeah i'm just gonna end up tower boosting okay so yikes yikes freaking yikes okay so i'm gonna try to maelstrom this okay oh my god dude my maelstrom just straight up mutual praise 27 it's gonna be our next one okay so yeah, that last game didn't go so well. I, I thought I did everything right, man. I ended up using the Maelstrom ability <laughs> just straight up. Didn't pop down any of the ceramics. I probably mistimed it. It's all good, okay? So 
This challenge, honestly, it's a little bit harder than I anticipated, so good thing we're only in Ceramic Crucible. Treasure Hunt, though, we're gonna end up skipping that, okay? So let's see where we get Water Resorts once again, okay? So I'm gonna try the same exact strategy, which was Tax Shooter Village Bomb. Oh, not the sub. Where's the bomb? There it is. Let's get it. So once again, we're gonna end up starting off with the Tax Shooter because, of course, the Tax Shooter is the best starting tower in the game. Hands freaking down, okay? So yeah, definitely wanna be starting off with that. Looks like Mutual Praise is gonna end up starting off with the Farm on his side, okay, so not with the popping power tower, so he's definitely not gonna be liking the fact that I'm gonna be sending him consistent eco right from the get-go, and this guy, just like the last guy, is gonna end up starting off with the wizard as his first popping power tower, which is not a bad move, okay? The wizard struggles a little bit, kind of, and also, too, you have to upgrade to the lightning. Unfortunately, he's face pulling me right now. Okay, I see, I see, I see how it is. Don't know what I did to deserve that, um, but whatever i guess okay maybe he was face palming himself maybe i don't know really all right or he's just upset that i'm sending him constant reds or because i'm just ecoing and boosts only but the thing is i'm ecoing with the texture right and we got the village combo in order to give us camera detection and oh okay he's straight up just face palming me then he's got to be face palming me okay so you're gonna end up regretting that when you lose this game Okay, just remember that. And for whatever reason, he never forced the 2 3 upgrade on my side, so I just did not upgrade. But I might have to upgrade to these greens because, like, I'm slowly but surely leaking to these AI balloons, all right? So, actually, currently we're fine, so I guess we won't upgrade. Why not? Why freaking not, all right? And also, too, he's not gonna be liking these constant greens here on round six, so yeah, I guess I'm just gonna be sending all of these. He went for another farm anyway, but. We know that a single lightning wizard cannot defend against constant green, so he's gonna have to upgrade 100 freaking percent. You can already Bruh. see, yep, he had a tower boosting. Are you kidding me, bro? Okay, you definitely did not need a tower boost. Holy, all right, but we're almost at 550 eco. It's not even like the middle of round seven. This is ridiculous, guys. He just never forced the two, three upgrade on my side. Okay, so we're gonna take a chill pill finally and finally go uh, for this blade shooter, the 2 3 tax shooter, because we need it for these AI balloons, all right? And we're still at 120 lives, which is like the really crazy thing, okay? So we're gonna have a ton of money during these mid game rounds. I guess the next thing that we should go for is this village, okay? So I'm gonna be going for the village, I guess, right about here, okay? Why the heck not? It kind of sucks because we can only place our towers. Oh, wait, I might be able to have my bomb though, right in this corner. Uh, that's a little bit too risky, all right? I'm gonna have my bomb then to the left of these little trees right here. So that's as close as we can get to the front of the map. So like a lot of my towers can't pop balloons until like midway through the map. So that's gonna make it a little bit harder to defend against the mid game rushes, but we'll, we'll work it out boys, okay? We'll make things work, trust the processor, right? And I'm gonna end up also just going for this cluster bomb right now. I'm gonna have this bad boy on close and look at him greeting on his side, guys. Look at him greeting just two sets of regen zebra balloons. He's not going to be liking this, obviously. Mutual, are you gonna straight up die? Are you gonna die? Dude, a tower boost might not even save you. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness. You literally could not make this up. Okay, so we need the radar scanner upgrade in order to have camera detection because without this upgrade, Literally, we would have no cam detection. He is selling all of his towers. He's just straight up all out of me. Okay, so obviously we can just easily maelstrom this, all right? So I, I really don't know what you were thinking, okay? But that was the easiest defend of my life, and that is in fact going to be a G freaking G, all right? What? Like, why would you allow me to have the maelstrom, all right? That is in fact going to be a GG, and that is also going to be wrapping up today's video. The last question. I asked you guys in the last video was, how many losses did our first opponent have after we ended up beating him, all right? And the answer is 18, all right? So the Sky one, congratulations, man. And the next question, I'm gonna be asking you guys, this. how many towers in the game are not associated at all with a monkey, all right? Make sure to leave your answers down below in the comments and you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I hope you boys enjoy once again. It's been your Wobo Tricks or Justin. Peace out, everybody.